Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. Nice to see you again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to solve another problem on bfe.dev. It's called improvement function. Uh, it's number 18 on bfe.dev. It's supposed to be from Facebook. And okay, let's take a look. So we're given input of array, which is made of items with more than three properties, like color, type, age, in this example. And we have an exclude array made of key value pair, key value. Mm -hmm. There's a function called exclude items. And for we uh, look through the uh, exclude, this is conditions. And for each condition, we will filter them out, right? Okay. So the items will be only uh, be kept if it matches our condition here. Like color must be silver, type must be TV. So the case here would only be uh, for each item, for each pair, a silver TV, right? So there's nothing here. Okay. So what does this function exclude the items to route? As I said, it uh, loops through the loop through the exclude conditions and try to exclude them. But actually, there is a typo here. It's not equal. It, because we need to filter them out, so it's not exclude here. It's include, right? Is function working I expect it? No, it's not exclude here. You should use uh, exclamation mark here to use uh, the uh, to make it uh, false. What is time complexity of this fu function? Well, for let's say, let's say there are. Uh, uh, like n key, okay, I'll, I'll just begin here. Say there are m items with, uh, for each item, there will be k properties, and for n exclude condi uh, conditions, then we will do what? we First, we loop through the odd conditions. This is for the for each here. And then we for, for each items, and we will check their pair, right? So it's n uh I, wait a minute for item item key pair uh -huh. this is key value key uh uh this is wait a minute of color silver type tv um yeah uh-huh so it's an m i think for each items yeah this is the items we look through through them so m right ah uh, okay i'm sorry before each year is n because this is the uh condition uh -huh. so and then here filter we actually we need to traverse through all the items and then for each item item compare k equals value mm, yeah this n m can could you optimize it huh how can we optimize this? Well, uh, the exclude condition might have some uh, a duplicate, right? Like for color, we need to, like for color, there might be silver, there might be red, there might be blue. And so, so it, when we are looping through the items, for each color pair, for each color value, we need to traverse through them, right? So actually, a m. But maybe we could collapse this condition to each property. I mean, I mean, we could uh, pre-process this exclude array and to make it at the minimum not n conditions now, to make it. Uh, to change exclude to a map with a key and value value is set so let's say something like this uh -huh. so for the case here now exclude maximum have k entries right like it probably is k so maximum which should be k this is for the four to here and we times for each items. Um, well, these items will be m items. 
And for each items, we will um, check the value. The map value here will be only one. Then we could just check the set if it has it, right? So this is actually constant time for the set. So yeah, we could improve the NM to KM. While for the N, there might be a lot of values, but for properties, we are supposed to have much less properties, right? So it's a huge imp imp improvement, I think. Yeah, okay, let's try. So the idea is pre-process process exclude array. And then avoid uh, uh, multiple for loop on items. Just make it once. Cool. So let's do it. Well, so let's say the map, right? The exclude map. Now for each condition of exclude. Okay. Um, okay, the condition, okay, this should be K and V. We say if this map has, doesn't have K yet. Yeah, then we set it, set K with a new map. Well, we, uh, of course we trade the space, right? We use this map extra space for the speed okay and then we could say exclude map um, get k and add v right yeah so now we have this exclude map what we do we could just return the items uh, filter this is the same so this item what what we do? We we just check if its value is not in the exclude map. If it's not in it, we will keep it. Keep it. So, uh, the item. Hmm? Ah no, I'm sorry. So the items filter item, and okay. Return item, and uh, we need to check the traverse through the properties, right? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, so I, I think I made a mistake here. If you use the exclude map, I, we will first loop three items because it's not k times v m but m times for each properties, the property is k. And to check uh, if the property value is, is in the exclude, right? So yeah, it's the same, just a different uh, in the order. Mm, so, okay, so the we need to loop through the key value pairs here. Okay, uh, I'll just use object return object keys item. Uh, so every right. If it has it, it's not okay. So every key. Every key is not in the excluded map, right? So uh, get key, it might be empty. So it should be, doesn't have this key or uh, get has key, but it doesn't have, has the value. So item uh, key. Return object keys. Every key, every key, uh, either is not in the map or it doesn't have it. The value, right? Item key. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. I think this work. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Add. Uh, Oh, new set. I'm sorry. Uh, already I set it to a uh, exclude map. A new set. 
get key has what's the problem color silver type TV What? So this is the items. This is a clue. We expect this to equal slice two. Blue book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Add. Um. Add. Uh, only used here. Undefined. Get K. Ah. If it doesn't have it. Shit. It doesn't have it. We said the set. Mm, okay. Cool. Why need it? Okay. So I, I have this problem. I posted it on the discuss panel. If you're interested, look. Okay. So that's all for this one. Hope you help. See you next time. Bye bye.